commanded, Let there be light, and light appeared. God was pleased with what he saw. See the new light in the sky. Hear the sound of a baby cry. In this wake of new light, God sent Louis Marie as his messenger to spread awareness among humanity. Lo and behold, on 31st January 1673, a benevolent soul came into being on this earth to spread his light and wisdom among mankind. Wow! What a momentous day it was in the province of Brittany, Western France, when the family received the wonderful news of the birth of Louis Marie. God, the Father of Glory, gave Louis the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Saint Louis Marie Grignan de Montfort, the eldest of ten children, proved to be helpful to his younger brothers and sisters and a comfort to his mother. Sometime between the ages of 16 and 18, Louis had a deeper experience of God. Prayer and penance became a part of him. Drawn closer to God, he developed a deep, tender and personal relationship with Him. It was that holy moment while praying before the statue of Our Lady that he felt certain of being called to priesthood. Hard superiors, hard times, countless trials, nothing could stop this great soul. His trust in God's providence enabled him to overcome all hardships and at the age of 27, he was ordained a priest. I Saint Louis Marie Grignan de Montfort shall dwell in poverty and beg my bread until I am old and skillful enough to earn it by the sweat of my brow. Such was his vision. He loved even those who brought him down taught all those who wanted to know more, helped the poor when they were in need. Thus, he changed the lives of many with his selfless deeds. The great soul had retained a vivid fantasy to go to an unknown land where he would live completely divested of every earthly possession. Education was his tool to improve the life of the masses and for this noble mission he founded the religious congregation of the brothers of Saint Gabriel. The flame lit by him continued to burn and shine.
Chapter 3 That three missionary brothers from France came to India and began the Montfortian education mission. They landed on the pious land of Puducherry, marking it as a red letter day in the history of India. This was the beginning of the Montfortian saga in India. There was no turning back after this. The brothers of Saint Gabriel, shaped by the word of God, having taken roots with the missionary zeal, moved to southern India. Armed with the great Montfortian mission, the brothers now spread their wings towards the north. Thus, they reached Srinagar, the valley of flowers, the paradise on earth. In the face of formidable difficulties and challenges, they took charge of the new Burn Hall School. The brothers then marched towards the northeast. They set on to the city of Eastern Light, Guwahati to fulfill their wishes from the valley of Lawrence to the heartland of India. The Montfortian Saga now reached the city of Nawab Lucknow. Touching so many tender hearts across the country, they now embarked upon their onward journey and reached Dilwalo Kidilli, the heart of India. Dear audience, a special mention needs to be made about this memorable moment. Yes, it was in the year 1970 that the brothers of St. Gabriel laid the foundation of yet another mission to spread the light of knowledge. From the year 1970 till date, the brilliant journey of Montford School Delhi continues as it scales new heights.